Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at Tung Enzo, uh, Marvellous Looper from Audio Damage. We're also taking a look at Swam Brass, Swam Strings. Uh, we've got a bit of drum computer going there, we've got a spark verb there, we'll be adding some black hole. And I'll be giving you a tutorial on how to set all this up and, and how to use Enzo the way I like to use Enzo. And I'm going to show you how you can do all this stuff here and then get really creative here. Okay, so, uh, yes, we've got the touche, which is going to be controlling the um, swam instruments for the expression. Hi, Ivan. Uh, at the moment, uh, I've got this little sequence running that I recorded four bars of, which is uh, which was originally this. which was the swam double bass. Uh, uh, and because Enzo at the moment is in input monitor always, we're gonna hear it if I play. I could record then overdub I could overdub something like this into it. Right, so there you go. Uh, but what I'm going to do before I record anything else is go and uh, make some adjustments to the swam instrument for the next bit. So I'm gonna put some harmonics on here. I'm actually going to change the play mode to uh, uh, no I'm not going to leave it on bow so I'm just going to bounce something around on this and then I'm going to set up a new project and show you how this works because it's easier easier like that okay so um drink so we can just start off now the way i've got enzo set up now is all i need to do is hit this little trigger you'll see this plus which means it's basically going to go into record mode as soon as i start so i'm just going to have a quick a quick jam <laughs> So now it's up, just going to constantly overdub until I stop. I'll wait till it comes round.
I was doing there was manipulating the first sector, which runs there in degrees zero to three sixty full circle. If you step this round to say, you can see it moving around here to say zero to ninety. There, the first sector you get four sectors to mess with. So the first sector will just play the first ninety degrees of the loop. <laughs> means I can set another four sectors up to do exactly what I want. I can reverse. Go forwards and I can also. Manipulate the speed. Time slower when it's on one it's normal okay so you know there you go so we'll what we'll do is we'll set up the second one now so you'll see that in the second one here I have this swam cello all I need to do now is I'll just disconnect my key step and I'll disconnect Touche's main port as well not that it will do anything it'll just Touche will just be controlling both but because we've recorded two instances now, two loops basically inside Enzo, I can actually take Swam out and it will still play that quarter. But I'm gonna take this up. Back to 360. And I'm going to set up this one. So I've got a swam in the effects. I'm going to open this up here. Choose the key step 37. This is for the cello part. And also I'm going to set uh, the touche up as well. So touche main port we want for this. And we need to set up touche in here as well um, for this. So we can go like this. Open the MIDI presets and go down to touche default the good thing about the swam stuff is they're pretty much mapped every and can mpe controller type thing you can you can think of to do uh right okay so theoretically now let's just close that we should be and if we look at You can see what the touche is controlling. So pressure down is expression. Pressure up is vibrato. Equal pressure will be both. Left will be both pit uh, pizzicato position. Gonna set this to actually press X and get rid of the loops in the first one so that's not interfering with this I'll leave the I'll leave the drum computer doing that to give us some sort of rhythm
to set up Enzo the way we want it. There is a there is a preset. Okay. So if you go in here and you go to four measures, you can hit four measures. It's really easy to set, and you can also set up <coughs> uh, four quarter sectors, which is what I basically showed you a moment ago, but just doing the first sector. To set that up the way the first one is, we want to turn the feedback up because the feedback, what will happen if the feedback is quite low, it decreases the volume of each preceding loop that you record, which is very nice for ambient stuff and things like that. But if you want to overdub, you want it pretty much close to close to the top. Dub and places on. Um, hang on a sec. Okay, um, right, so I think I need to just go and check something on the feed because someone's asked me a question. And the person who's asked me a question is, um, I can't find it. I can't find it. So if, if someone's sort of question, I think from, I, I think he's, I think he's blind, so he might need us to answer, but I can't. Oh, wait a sec. Yes, yes, yes. I found a uh, hey, question. I'm blind, and I'm wondering it, how I can pull up. I can pull up upright piano open pure synth on Garage Round because I cannot find it. I only found a whole bunch of other sound. It's for iPhone. Um, I don't know. Can someone check? Because I haven't used it in Garage Band, uh, so I don't honestly don't know, and I don't even know if it, it is for if if I think I think Pure Synth works on the I, iPhone, but honestly, I'm not sure. I'm sure someone's going to check for you though, and then I'll tell you what they say. Right, so. I'm just going to set this up so the first thing we want to be doing is we want to set our loop length okay so we can go quite i think we can go up to 32 so we can go up to 32 bars i'm going to go with eight bars <laughs> iPad only so uh, sorry that's why you can't solve rack M7 you can't do it because uh, I uh, 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 pure synth is only f oh hang on a minute she's retracted that oh no uh, sorry so it is for iPad it is for iPad as well yeah, iPhone as well <laughs> I'm going to have eight bars. Uh, initially, we want this set on record, but that's fine. Record and stop also fine. Where it says length unit, you want that on measure. And that's basically it set up. So what will happen now is when we press the transport. Like this. Enzo will wait till the next bar count once we hit trigger. And trigger is going to set this off to record. So... So again, we watch where our count is. Right. 
have to realize is you you have to learn to count <laughs> oh right <laughs> idea what's going on here with Enzo so I'm going to set this for that Sussed it now. Let's go back the right way. Right, super. Right, so and I'm definitely now going to change the play type to uh, I don't need to worry too much about touche for this. one I think
Sorry, yeah, this is the the the, 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 the both two shades are the same size. And you can customize uh, the bits and pieces and adjust the tensions and things and the, the play in there, the watsits and stuff. The only difference is that this one has CVs and MIDI, uh, whereas the the cheaper one has just USB. As you can see, I'm only using it with USB. Uh, no, it's the same size. Uh, I'm only using it with USB. Uh, for, for an iPad, it's absolutely all you need is USB. So. How'd you close that window? I can't see. That's the name of it, isn't it? It's, that's it, wait then. There it's look. It's hiding. <laughs> Just gonna lower the volume of this and um, this, and just have a. And I, I, I've got my four sectors. So. Record over four bars.
top job cool beans there you go <laughs> um <clears throat> there was a look oh my god mate must make must make enzo stop at that speed guys i hope you really enjoyed that it was uh Uh, really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for very much for joining me this evening. Thank you very much, Ivan, for the super chat as always. You, you are top top, top geezer. Um, I think Jade must be on in what uh, fifteen minutes, something like that. Twenty minutes, twenty five minutes, fifteen minutes. What time is it? Twenty two. Okay, so <clears throat> um, you like using the uh, over the the one you got the touche. It's you can still use the pitch bend. And you can still map the aftertouch, but I've got the 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 trumpet is in actual touche mode sort of thing. Which controls various bits and pieces of the app. Uh, guys, thanks so much for joining me. Uh, don't forget, Jade's on at nine. So let's all head over there and watch Jade. Um, because she's doing some um, controller stuff, I think, tonight. Anyway. See you guys later. I'll let you say to each other for a few minutes. Bye. Oops, excuse me. Bye.